brush is actually pretty cool. Are pretty cool? Is yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, they're still they're still a thing. And you know what? They're still they're churning out some pretty neat. Or they were. I don't know if they're gonna release another album anytime in the near future. Because but... Neil Peart has to go on another spirit journey. <laughs> Didn't yeah. his like wife pass away or something? And he like did like a walkabout. Uh, he did a uh, well cross-country motorcycle trip, I think. Nice. But I don't know. That's pretty rock and roll. I mean, come on. Hurts life. Sure. I only know but the that's Hurts awesome. drums. He's like, oh, I got to go out. Oh yeah. Gotta play the prog rock, you know. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, you drum know. Solo, eh? Oh yeah. We call it Y Y Z, eh? <laughs> Oh, Tom Sawyer, eh? Tom Sawyer likes the maple syrup, eh? Eh, back bacon. They're oh, very Tom polite. Sawyer gets high on you, eh? <laughs> Spacey invades gets by on you. <laughs> Probably said that wrong. What was I even gonna talk about? Oh yeah, let's settle this once and for all, right here, right now. You ready? What? Do you refer to bands as plurals or as singular nouns? Ooh. I'm trying to think. Yo, I'll, I'll Tango. Refer them, I'll refer to them like. Ooh, I don't know. I think I interchange it. I don't Grammar know. doesn't like interchangeability, bro. It's like, oh, I'm seeing U2. They're like my favorite band. U2 is my favorite band. Or, but then I'll say U2 is my favorite band. U2 are my favorite band. No, I wouldn't say U2 are. Well, then you lose. Good day, sir. You stole Fizzy Lifting Drink. All those walls have to be scrubbed. Where's the rest? The lights? The lights. The lights! They're here under the rocks. The infernal glowing of the lights. It's so it's such a bummer what happened to SpongeBob. Uh Crap. they have the original guy supposedly coming back. Great. I don't think it'll ever be the same. We'll never have another Band Geeks. Instead, we'll no. have Band Geeks 2. And so we'll have Adventure Time, which is complete nonsense crap for people who are wonderful and I love them. Like, comment, subscribe! Hello, Tucker alienated whatever viewing base we have, knowing that they probably <laughs> watch Adventure Time. Probably. Including the person he is currently doing this with. I just don't like what Adventure Time has done to cartoons in general. Like, if it was just Adventure Time, I'd be like, alright, I don't have to watch it. But, but like, every show adventure is Adventure Time, time. I don't think there'd be anything like Bravest Warriors or... That's okay. Gravity Falls or a regular show. Which are all That's okay. <laughs> you can't always kind of okay, have but... anime Tucker. Gosh. Um, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying... Everything can't be Samurai Jack. Gosh. Well, no, and it never will be, because... Do you know how nice all... it would be if it was, though? No, because it would be Stupid Adventure Time, and it'd be like, I'm a wacky guy, I say weird lingo, because this is made by 20-year-olds who are ironic, and they post stuff on their Tumblr. Did I miss one? Okay. I can't hear you over <laughs> my beards. My animator beards. I hate it. I wear suspenders, and I'm inking on Adventure Time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. And that's like every cartoon! Or it's like know. stupid American anime like Korra. I don't care about Dude. Korra. Dude. Avatar sucks, bro. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm pulling out all the stops on cartoons right now. Okay, what would be your ideal cartoon then? Dude, Samurai Jack's pretty sweet. Samurai Jack's awesome, but it's not on the air anymore. Well, <laughs> okay. It's not even in rerun format, which is a shame. It's on Netflix, it's... bro. I think Samurai... in terms of... I'm sorry. Yes. Samurai Jack might be the contender for one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Because Samurai Jack did not pander in any way, at any time. Nah, it was just awesome. And there's the um... Scotsman, and he's all... Haggis and my wife. 
And then there's the episode where it's like a... He like wears all white and he's fighting like the all black robot and like the sun's going down and it's just like completely monochrome. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's so awesome. Oh, and then there's that one where he goes like to the house that's haunted and stuff and he sees the flashbacks the Witcher. and it's all... Ah, God, that's such a cool show. I think in terms of comedy, Spongebob in its prime is pretty close to my ideal. I mean, it's, there are some episodes of Spongebob that are like amazing. I'm not afraid to say it. He's not all of them, Michael. A cartoon. Not all of them. Um, the one where they paint Mr. Krabs' house is like one of my favorite things ever. Because it's like, there's no concept to it. It's just like, here's jokes for 11 minutes or whatever. And it's like, ah. Oh. Is that the, uh, <laughs> where he licks it at the end and he's like, ah, gah, 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 gah. <laughs> and then he melts it all and he's like, Oh. You got paint on my dollar, Rama. Where's this stupid light? Oh. We're gonna do this one more time, sorry. Ah, tedium. No. <laughs> We're not apes, uh, Spongebob. We have technology. <laughs> he just beats it with a computer. Oh, it's so good. Oh, uh, Spongebob. Spongebob, I love you. I did, at least. And now it's like, here's like... Stupid Ren and Stimpy rip off crap. I hate it. It's funny because Squidward's face is ripped off. I hate it. Oh, it's just like mean spirited and. It's torture gross. Porn. I hate it. It's like so not what SpongeBob was at all. I want to know who like thought it was a good idea to <laughs> make it that. Well, as I understand it, um. Nickelodeon pushes that stuff real hard, and they are on a pretty tight production schedule. Mm. Yeah, so, but then why didn't they, like, that tight production schedule, like, that's what led to the Painting Crab's house one. Sure. And you see it right off there to the right. Yep, yep, yeah, too. Yes! Sick. New record. New record, bro. Let's not try again. What? Try again. Yes. Alright, how about I track down one last... Or, uh, well, this has been going on for a while. Would you like to call it, Michael? Yeah, we can try one more. Alright, I'll find one dragon. Um... Alpine Ridge? Let's do it. I really like this game. This game's <laughs> a cozy game. Yes. Um. Why? Hmm. What? I think my oh, favorite crap. SpongeBob. I totally expected that to be there. Yes. Was Doodle Bob? Doodle Bob's an interesting one. Miami, Miami, now you might. What? Miami, Miami, mouse fine. My pencil. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> when when he they're like, I don't know, I forget what the context was, but Patrick just says happy birthday to him and then gives him a rock and he's like, here's your present. When to get more giant paper? Oh, uh, Patrick. Patrick. Oh God. I feel oh, like. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then he's like. It's the one, it, they, there's that hole in the ground that he, that Patrick falls into. Oh yeah. Like, Where's Finland? the leak, ma'am? And then he falls again, and then he just turns like, <laughs> Finland! And they like have the bowling notation show up and everything. God. <laughs> Spongebob's pretty awesome. Okay. So what's your take on, the, on like, other early, well not early Cartoon Network, but like, those other like Hanna-Barbera era. Such as? Like, Dexter's Lab. Oh, yeah. Johnny like, Bravo, Powerpuff Girls. I would say those are all great shows. I would agree. Um, you can definitely tell some of them um, kind of suffered from the same thing SpongeBob suffered from, where at some point the original staff had moved on and 
like Dexter's Lab, there was like seasons where it was not what it used oh, yeah. to be. Definitely. Which is kind of a bummer. I Something wish I would just let robots pretending to be motorcyclists. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but like Powerpuff Girls is an amazing cartoon. How do you feel about the uh, remake then? Uh, well, my knee-jerk reaction is it's dumb, but maybe it'll be good. But they had their one episode with Ringo. Yeah, well, they did that whole Beatles episode, which was Dude, that Beatles amazing. episode was awesome. Oh, God, that was... They have, like, the other monkey, <laughs> and it's, like, Yoko. Someday. <laughs> someday. <laughs> oh, what is it? God, I can't. What is it? Someday Monkey won't play piano song. Play piano song. That's amazing, Michael! There's layers to that joke that I just can't even... Oh. Like an ogre. <laughs> like an onion, Michael. Okay, how do, I, how do I get over this crap? I know... Um... Oh yeah, you come out over here. And this guy trips me up like crazy. But not this time, because I'm good now. But no, it was like an episode where Ringo played a villainous mathematician. What? Called Fibonacci sequins or something like that. And it was really dumb. What? But he sang a song and he dressed like a Powerpuff girl with the hairy legs and it was adorable. What? Yeah! Dude, the, <laughs> the mayor was so good on that too. Oh, uh, the movie is something. <laughs> I remember the movie. I remember. It's like 45 leaving. minutes long. Yeah. I remember leaving thinking it was kind of cool. They had all the different monkeys, and I thought that yeah. was pretty awesome. Yeah. That's what I thought was cool. Uh, okay. You only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Nailed it. Hmm. Kelvin. Remember that these blue thieves. You must have met my brother room. Celsius. <gasps> I got 50. Michael, can we go to the uh, yes. next world and yes. just see what it looks like? Okay. Let me get this stupid. I hope we save a dragon named Celsius and a dragon named Fahrenheit. Nice. Stupid metric system. I am the warmest dragon. They shall call me Fahrenheit. Absolute get him, get him, zero. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him. There we go. Hey. Right, let me just go grab those treasures quick. Treasures. Going for a treasure hunt, yeah. So are you doing gex or what? Because I'm I still would on board. Gex. I would so do gex. <laughs> I'd like to announce my retirement from Spyro the Dragon. Oh, I'm right here. I might as well just... And now we shall go... Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> no! Melody! What a world! Alright, this is gonna be tricky. Remember when camera control was on the shoulder buttons? Spyro remembers. Wait, what? Camera control is L2, R2. Oof. They didn't have right sticks yet. I remember that being a thing in Crash Bandicoot era. I don't think you could like, yeah. And then Ape Escape came out and was like, bro, you better get that dual shock. Boy, howdy, did you... Okay, so I just gotta go find the dude. Easier said than done. I don't remember where it is. Lebowski. Ooh. Do you remember where the... Uh... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah. Probably. Right. No, wait, There's a. there should be a shuttle there. No, it, it's the drop-off point is not the same as the pickup point. Oh. I don't, know the, I don't know the intricacies of the... Skylander 
transportation. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that's what they are. Please do not mention. Dude, that's. That game. Yeah. My... That game is a continuation of this. Is it? That game. It's the same universe, man. It's not the same universe. It is. It's the same universe. It's not. Yeah, it is. No. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Objectively, no. <laughs> They're totally the same universe. Toko, the balloonist. Where are we going? I don't have a problem with Skylanders. I think it looks kind of cool, actually. But the what they did to Spyro was, like, <laughs> unconsciousable. It's not the same. It's not the same. I don't know. Like, why, think... why call it Spyro? It's so stupid. Hey, right, let me go get find a balloonist. That pig. So, so now we know that in a fight, a pig beats a dragon. Pig beats dragon. Yes. News at eleven. How do you get like your fly buddy to come back? You have to eat the creatures. Oh, hey, there, he's back. So many creatures. What? What? There was a knock at the door. Man, yeah, that was Dream Cray. Weavers. Enter! Okay. Ooh, this is funky. Dude, this looks pretty. Yeah, I think we have two left. I think it's this one and then one more after this. This also looks Crash Bandicoot as hell. Yep. I mean, the bad guys do at least. Yeah, watch out for the nitro. Oh, he turned into a little munchkin! They're all munchkins! And I'll save my Bandicoot girlfriend next time. Actually, that's his uh, sister. Not in the first one, bro. What? In the first one, he's rescuing his girlfriend. I haven't played the first one. Wait, no, isn't it Coco or? <laughs> nope. Because Coco's a sister. No, it's like a buxom uh, bandicoot babe named like mm. Tronxy or something. <laughs> look it up, kids. Go to your local library and look up. Uh... Just like X3.